good afternoon, good evening. Um, Y'all do realize it's a Wednesday and we have Gallis Wednesdays tonight. Next level bar and lounge, 441 State Route 7, um, Fort Lauderdale. Everybody know the spot. Formerly called Salt Rock. Big up the Canada crew. Big up everybody. Um, when I realize uh, the present government of Jamaica with the Prime Minister Andrew Olness in a big trouble. You realize the trouble damn foot? I don't know realize it. When you realize, I don't know realize it. Now, I've come to the conclusion, right? That you people and me, in terms of vision, are they on the same level. No disrespect to my followers and nobody where I watch it live, but it's clear that so me and Uno now have the same sight. It's obvious that I am seen way beyond the present time. Like today, me see two years ago already. See? Don't know if you recall when me say the best thing for the Prime Minister do is just step down as Prime Minister, remain as an MP and make somebody else lead. You don't have to remember this, you know. I know every time somebody in the position to lead means that they're my leader. You want to understand what I'm saying, because sometimes we say some things people don't understand. It's not every time that somebody is in the position to lead means that they are a leader. If you don't understand that, let me know if you don't understand what that means. Okay, let me break it down for those who don't understand. Sometimes you have a person with leader ingredients. See? Meaning, smartness, IQ, vision, decision making, all of that. But they are not equipped with the financial support or the public platform or the things that make the world see them as a leader. See? So what happened is they are aligned with somebody who has the financial support the public platform, the fanfare and everything. Now the person with the public fanfare and the money and everything listens to this leader. This leader now becomes an advisor to the person with the amenities where a leader should have. Not the gifts in it. Okay? Not have the gifts in it, have the money, the connection and the platform. Right? Now, obviously, the Prime Minister does not know how to lead. It's obvious. And what's very dangerous for him, the Prime Minister, is that those who are advising him don't have the ingredients to lead either. You want to understand what I'm saying now? Meaning to Andrew Wallace, the Prime Minister, don't have the ingredients to lead. He may not have the position to lead, but he don't have the ingredients to lead. And whosoever, see, whosoever he might take advice from, don't have the ingredients to lead. Either because they might lead him in the wrong place. Love Kelly about some badges. Big up yourself. I am just saying, when you are not 
blessed with the ingredients of leading you have to surround yourself with people who can lead so that them can advise you on how to lead properly if me to speak the truth Mr. Andrew Onis is literally embarrassed himself him just a embarrass himself and the weird thing about this you know him a destroy the Jamaica Labour Party because let's be honest if an election call right now Labour lose flying Jamaica Labour Party lose flying so the Prime Minister not only destroy theme credibility is also destroying the credibility of the Jamaica Labour Party he might make even Labour right and lose faith in the Jamaica Labour Party now this has been happening for some time because you have people before him with discredit the credibility of the Jamaica Labour Party. Me as a PNP can tell you. Bruce Golden was before Andrew. Now if you remember clearly, Bruce started doing some things where did unacceptable and did look away. Between Bruce and Desmond McKenzie. Them do the people them some things where make people do the hate labor right. One of the main things where them do, them destroy the heartbeat of the Jamaica Labor Party, which is Tivoli Garden, and how them deal with the situation with Dodos. See? They make the people them lose faith in the Jamaica Labor Party. This one. That's why Bruce Golden side fit to um step down and leave politics and then came andrew right now my advice to andrew is to follow suit do like where bruce did do it will get too much on it too every theme and him step left it and give it to you obviously you 10 times worse than bruce You understand? So, my thing is, I don't think Andrew will follow ego or what people are going to say or what your family are going to say or people are going to look at you different. Just step down as Prime Minister, give somebody else a chance. It's too much for you. You see, I get overwhelmed. I go and say, Sep, what do you mean? mix up two months in a one when I make a speech and I make. It's overwhelming. It a it a it a pressure your brother. I don't know nothing if you leave the job. I you know I'm not black nobody today. Anybody want to comment and trace a for them business. Cause me just a speak for the people them and me just a talk from my heart and me a try advise Andrew without even speaking directly to Andrew, but I still Andrew me a talk to. Like if it's too much for you, bro, leave it. I did have a BMW. I gave a small synopsis of one of my story. I had a BMW. And I first met that story. Nice car, look good. PA girl want me. I drive it. Everywhere I drive it and pull up. The respect different. Everything different. I love it. But every drive, I drive it puncher. Not meaning puncher like a nail running night or something. Because a low profile tire on the front of the beam are heavy. And Jamaica Road full of patrol and sleeping police and ill and gully. And once you run over a bump and it shift the tire, it made the tire. By your drive, go, it's a tire rip up. So me I spend 21000 per tire. For the month, me I buy three, four tire. Then me I fix rim. Five grand for crack and three grand a bend. One rim of all four bend and two crack and them things. So for the entire month, 
me I spend close to 200 or 200,000 pound wheel alone. Me not no engine problem, me not have nothing. It was becoming overwhelming. Cause me realize, say, me I spend more money upon a vehicle than what me I spend upon the house where me live in. The car I take more than my rent for the month. More than two times my rent for the month. So, it never makes sense. You understand me, I say? So, what did I have to do? For my own sake and my own safety and my own sanity, I had to let go of that BMW. Not because it had an engine problem, not because it not look good, not because it not hot, not because it not sexy, but for my own sanity. Zin? So, I am just saying to Mr. Oldis now, this thing here is definitely too much for your anger. Because we just speak generally how you deal with the big C situation. We not touch crime yet, you know? We not touch the inflation and the high prices for electricity and water, you know? We not talk about them something there yet, you know? We not talk about the problem with the cockpit country yet, you know? And the bag of things they must sell out, we not address the, the airport or gone to the Mexicans, you know? Like, bro, it's not making any sense. It not making any sense, Mr. Wallace. I mean, I talk to you in a disrespectful manner or nothing like that. I'm just saying, be a man about it. If you cannot manage the job, bro, give it to somebody else. I must say this numerous times already. I say it before it reach Yasser, you know. Remember, I say, say it before it reach Yasser. I already say, give up the position. Still be an MP, but give the leadership of the country to somebody else. You cannot handle it. You cannot. You're frustrated, you're overwhelmed, you don't know what the right thing to do. When you come out now upon your speech, them and your public notification, you now make no sense. I'll be big up. You now do the right thing, Andrew. Now, the latest hooray is one of your MPs on a lockdown day. They might have them private party wherever they might have it. And him stupidly enough, I rejoice and I put up say lockdown day and big up shower, show, show, show. And the reason why I'm the able to do that, you know. The reason why he was able to do that is because he knows say all I want to go with is just a charade, it's just a facade. So that's why I feel comfortable for you to do that. You see? Don't get me wrong, you know. I'm wrong in every way, you know. I'm wrong in every way. But I'm a follow suit. I'm the first politician to keep party during lockdown. I'm the first politician to a, a party and a show so they might exercise them powers. You understand what I say? Him just. The person who videoed, it looked like him didn't even know that they might it. And the person videoed and put it out, which I am glad for. Because if it never put out, people wouldn't see what they really are going with. So the problem is not this disease here, you know. Because obviously, we don't care about the disease. Because we live on our own little personal life, we don't have an agenda towards the public. But in our private domain, we don't do what we feel. So it's not about no disease. These things we're not implement is not about the disease. And people I realize now, say it's not about the disease. Which we already know, me, already know that already. Now, one of the reasons why I think you're not going to want to resign, because there are some consequences and there are some benefits where you get as prime minister. Now, a lot of people don't know, right? A lot of people don't know. My my thing is, if you force this minister to resign, 
you, Mr. Oni, should resign as well. And along with a lot more people within the party that should resign. You understand? So, thing what me know you're not going to resign for, and you're not going to give up the post for. When you're not Prime Minister, if you're not the present Prime Minister, certain world privileges does not apply to you. No. I got to talk this, and I just say it go. I got to just talk it. No, I make the people understand what's really happening. Zin? Numerous amount of politicians are under the telescope where the United States of America is concerned. They are under observation for a big fraud we're going one big money laundering scheme we're going now some of them visa get take away some of them lose them job you have someone working at the bank who help make the thing up see and some of them are high ranking government members when you see the news them this is nothing where this is nothing where just foot alone no but people not pay attention it was in the news couple of them visa take away. Reason why the Prime Minister visa not take away is because he's actually the Prime Minister at the moment. More on a pay attention to him. Yes. The present Prime Minister can't lose him visa. You know, pay attention? The present Prime Minister can't lose him visa. That's why the urgency was put into the last election and all of that money was spent. It was the biggest handout ever gave for the last election. Everybody get money, you know. People like